in this life, eh, there are products you're going to look at and wonder why the creator of that product never gave it enough attention. And when you see such things, it makes you wonder, why would someone spend so much time and resources building something that they don't care about? I know a lot of, especially with tech, eh, a lot of these products are employee driven. So, and there was even an article put out, uh, I think like two weeks ago, and they were talking about why Google pushes for more features on their platform, whether it's on email or their browsers. And once the product has been launched, Google sort of forgets about it. And the explanation they were giving was that Google encourages innovation. And people who build products are rewarded with promotions and pay rise. And the side effect of that or the negative side effect of that is a product or a feature that would have been amazing on Google ends up not reaching its fullest potential and that's because the person who was passionate about that thing only did it because they wanted a promotion or they wanted to be in a different pay bracket and that is sad i feel like that is sad i feel like when you do launch a product when a company launches a product and or a feature on their platform they need to give it a bit of time an example is Facebook marketplace. I feel like Facebook does not know just how much potential that feature has. That feature alone could rival the best of e-commerce platforms. And I'm not talking about African platforms like Jumia. I'm talking, okay, Jumia, there's a debate about Jumia being African, but you get the context. I feel like if well done, Facebook would have been a competitor to Amazon and even Alibaba. Yesterday, I found myself on that Facebook marketplace button. And I was just scrolling down, scrolling down, looking at things. And I ended up on a page um, for cars. Someone is, people are selling cars. So you get all sorts of people on this platform. You get people who are selling their personal cars. You find people who have car bazaars. They have like car selling shops and they come to Facebook to advertise and sometimes they post them in the marketplace as opposed to their pages. It's a way for them to, I mean, they reach more people that way. And I saw this one car. It was a Toyota Crown. And I looked at it and I was like, this car is a car I've seen. Like, I was so sure I had seen that car. And not from a different platform. I had seen it in that very session of me scrolling through Facebook Marketplace. So I scrolled back up again and I saw it. So one person had listed it for one price. And then when I scrolled back down, the second, um, whatever, the second post I saw was, I think, 50,000 Kenya shillings cheaper. And I was like, am I seeing my own thing? So I went onto the images and I scrolled, scrolled, scrolled. The one thing that was common for both is the number plates were hidden or removed. They weren't there. But when you scroll, you could see it's the same color of car, same photos, same everything, but the pricing was different. And then I clicked on the person who was selling the car and it was two different people. So I was like, hmm. One of them must be the owner and the other one must be a broker. So maybe the broker figured, you know what, if they post, um, they might get someone and get, make some extra 50,000 Kenya shillings. So I was like, this is too much for me. I am not paying attention to it. So I kept scrolling. And behold, I found it again. I found the same car in three posts. And there was 100,000. Was it 100,000 or 150,000 difference from these three people and it just gave me this feeling of i'm being conned i'm being i would never know what the true story of this car is i would never know 
if the person who is selling it is a legit person or someone who just downloaded the photos i would never know like there's no personalization to this experience even if i was to buy this car it's not i would still feel like i got robbed i would still feel like maybe i should have gotten a better deal and it reminded me another of another post of a car situation again um one of kenyan bloggers had posted two photos a photo uh, one was taken in may and it was a, a photo of an electricity pole had fallen on top of this macax and it was ruined the the entire roof was gone the back mirrors were like it was bad and then the same car had been reposted on facebook in september and the number one thing that had gotten my attention and even for most people was the seller had written no accident original paint and i think the only thing they forgot to put was lady on there's this thing that car sellers in kenya have where they say lady on and the reason they do that is they f- they f- make they want to make you feel like this car was not driven carelessly and i feel like that is chauvinistic in some way because i know female drivers who are really good and i know female drivers who are very reckless and i know female drivers who are better drivers than men and you putting female on should not be anyway i'm getting, i'm going down a rabbit hole anyway going back to the point of this video i feel like if facebook like i'm talking about my feelings a lot eh? if facebook had just paid a little more attention invested a little more time and money a little more resources onto facebook marketplace i believe that facebook marketplace would be a platform that enables small businesses better than it already does it would have they should have they would have made buyers on the platform feel like it's for them it's they're not getting a road deal they're not being taken advantage of how hard it is this is just like a side bar question how hard it is for facebook to have a feature that only allows one person to post one product or a specific product so no i'm overthinking it but there should be at least a way that helps you trace back who the original owner of that content is i don't know what do you think what do you think facebook should have done i feel like they, they, there's something they can do that would make myself and any other person who wants to buy stuff from facebook and i know there's very little you can do when you don't monitor or you don't police the people who are posting for example if i wanted to sell this zoom sponge for the zoom mic uh, i can just go on facebook and upload it so how do we make sure well, what can be done to make the person who's looking to buy it to feel safe and not taken advantage of because there's no way i should be seeing the same product with three or four price ranges and i'm seeing them in one go or maybe that's the feature they have that allows you to if you're just patient enough to see the, that the same product has been listed can the feature then be if you click on that product it shows you the same product if it's a car say if it's a k a a 001a it shows you all the people that have listed that same car so that you are able to even check the different price ranges and even make a decision that is for you can that be done can can that is there a way they can aggregate all the <sighs> all the photos and all the postings of one specific car or one specific product into one page so that i know 
if I buy from, if I want to pay an extra 100,000 Kenya shillings, then this is the person to go to. But if I want to get the best deal, this is the person to go to. Can they?